If the projector is ceiling mounted, remove any cables and carefully remove it from the mounting brackets to work on it below. If the projector is not ceiling mounted, simply unplug any video and power cables. Now loosen the screw from the lamp assembly cover. The cover is on the top, but the screw is on the side. Now, loosen the two screws from the lamp assembly. Simply pull the lamp assembly directly up and out. Place the new lamp assembly into the projector. Push firmly to make sure the assembly is seated. Tighten the two lamp assembly screws. Place the cover and tighten the cover screw. The replacement lamp may come with two filters, a white corrugated filter and a gray sponge filter. To replace the white filter, locate the filter door and remove it. Remove the old filter and insert the new filter under the side tabs. Now replace the filter and filter door onto the projector. The same procedure is used for the gray filter. Locate the filter door and remove it. Remove the old filter and insert the new filter under the side tabs. Now replace the filter and filter door on the projector. You will need to test the projector bulb and reset the lamp hours to zero. Plug in the power cable and start the projector. The projector will turn on and start to project light, a blue screen if there is no video source hooked up. Hit the menu button. Using the direction arrows, move right until reset is highlighted. Now, use the down arrow until clear lamp hours is highlighted and hit enter. If you changed the filters, highlight clear filter hours and select enter. You can move back up the menu and then to the left to highlight info. This will confirm that the lamp hours are correctly set at zero and the lamp life is at 100%. The task is now complete and the projector can be remounted.